Welcome to week one, slap thumb technique. Slap thumb is basically where you use the side of your thumb, actually this bony part right at the knuckle here, to slap a string and get a percussive sound along with the note like this. First, let's check out the playthrough of this week's material. Now, as you can tell, this is more of a percussive blues sounding riff, and it emulates the style of Stevie Ray Vaughan, John Mayer. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to pause the video and try to memorize the tab first before we go into these techniques. If it says S above the tablature, that will mean slap. Everything else, it, you're using one of these two fingers. Okay, well, you might have to change your fingering after, but let just at least memorize the notes a little bit so that the techniques will make more sense. So go ahead and pause the video and do that. Okay, the first technique is the slap. And the first thing you need to understand is to get a good percussive slap, you need to use, like I mentioned before, the bony side of your thumb, and you need to sort of whiplash it. Like you can't just stay there or else the tone will cut out. You have to slap the string, the low E string in this case, and you have to come right off, like bounce it off. The second most important thing on this is in your left hand, you have to cover the strings that you intend not to make a sound. Or in other words, every other string except for the low E string. So you need to cover these strings with your left hand, otherwise you'll get this messy sound like this. What you wanna do again is cover the strings and then snap the low E string with the side of your bony thumb. Pause that and give it a try. The next technique is the thumb and hook technique, which basically means anytime we have a percussive slap, we're gonna be using our thumb, and anytime we have the higher notes, we're gonna be using these two hooks, the first finger and the second finger, or the index finger and the middle finger. So if we play through this first part, we need to cover the strings so we get that a nice clean slap, and then we use a hook, our first finger here. And then immediately we go back to the thumb. We're not slapping, so I guess you don't use the thumb only on slaps. It's, it's very convenient to use thumb and hook whenever you're just going back and forth like this. So check this out. Now, the hooks are hooks for a reason because we want to snap the strings. We want to get that percussive snapping sound. In a lot of other music, you actually don't want that, but in this case, we do. So it's slap and then a snap, and then percussive slap with your right hand. So you keep your hand at this sort of you know, relaxed position, which by the way, when you're slapping, don't slap with your thumb open or your fingers open like this. Keep your fingers relaxed and they'll just curl in like this, and you slap. And when you're slapping, keep, uh, what I like to do is I like to keep my knuckles facing the ground. If you're more of like a this person, I actually can't do it well that way. You can try it like that, but I do this. So starting from zero, we got the slap, and then, then a slap with our entire hand here. Or mostly we're using our knuckles. So. And then we have the hammer on to the snap. And right after the snap, we also slap. So it's. Okay. Then we have this uh, slide. I'm using my middle finger and third finger to slide from two and three up to three and four. So first I do a palm muted, okay? Palm muted open D string with my thumb. And then I slide in. That's an important thing. 
That's an embellishment, right? If it was just, it's not as interesting. There we go, that's a little more interesting. And then we come to this bar on the t second fret of the G and the B strings. Then our finger comes up and we pull off on the G string, so it's... Snap, bar, pull off. And then the last two notes, we want to intentionally play this in, in our right hand here with a hook. We want to snap it with the hook because anytime you go from the note right before the beginning again or the slap again, you want it to be not your thumb because that's too much movement. It's not economical. So we want to use a hook right before the slap. So again, it's... So again, the first section here, very slowly, watch closely. And then you start over, you do that again. And instead of this, what you gotta do is the Stevie Ray Vaughan lick. It's lightning fast, and it sounds like this. And the way to master this lick, by now you've already memorized the tab, but the way to master this lick is number one, you only need to use your two fingers, okay? And however, however you wanna finger the lick, you can, what's ever most comfortable. I, I go back and forth a lot between my thumb and hook. But what you have to make sure you do is the very last note, remember, needs to be a hook right before the slap again. So very slowly. The second thing you need to do in order to get fast at this and to get and to still play clean is do what I call speed bursts. First, get it under your fingers to where you can play it just sitting on the couch, not even thinking about it. Right? Without even thinking about it, then you know you can speed it up. And these are called speed bursts. And what you do is you break it up into sm the smallest achievable uh, sections. So the first smallest achievable section for me would probably be these uh, first few notes. One, two, three, four, the first four notes. And I wanna make sure that each note is as clean as possible. Then I'll blast it. And I'm snapping with my right hand because that's giving me a little more oomph, right? And, and if this is not working, that's okay. You need to continue, at, or in other words, if this isn't like, uh, coming as fast as you want it to, it's okay. You need to uh, train your fast twitch muscle fibers. Maybe your fingers aren't used to moving that fast, but they will. I promise they will. So then you add another note, another note, until you get the whole thing. Break it up into pieces, do speed bursts, train the raw uh, speed, the fast twitch muscle fibers, and you will get this lick down. Lastly, let me just play through the whole thing very slowly. So if you want to, you can analyze my fingerings, my movements, and so forth. I highly recommend memorizing this really well, going through all the techniques, and then going through them again. And then again, go through them several times because each of these little details is what separates the good guitar players from the masters. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.